Hey, this is Alan from Hacked Gadgets. I just want to show you my remote control I built. Now, this is one of those uh, aftermarket Atari remote controls that basically has a bunch of the games built into it. Uh, it looks exactly like the Atari 2600 joystick. Uh, normally, this would just plug into your TV directly, um, audio and video, and you would select the game using a couple buttons on the back, and away you go playing the game. Um, you know, I, I do have a Harmony 880 remote. The thing is great, it works really well, but, you know, just for muting the TV when the phone rings or turning the volume up a little bit, I wanted something a bit unique and simple to use, and I, I found this to be the solution. Let me just show you inside quickly. So what I did is I used a standard miniature remote control. I took it apart and installed the guts of it inside this unit here. There was actually two AA batteries in this location and this circuit board just fit beautifully in there as if it was meant to be. Um, and it's actually being powered off of these two AA batteries to give the 3 volts which um, is equivalent to the 3 volt coin cell that was in there. However, you know, I much prefer changing a couple AA batteries rather than changing a coin cell. And I also installed a few infrared LEDs on the front here. I can push a button, you can see that they work quite well. Okay, we'll button this thing up and I'll show you how it works. Let me just tip the camera up so you can see the TV. Okay. So the TV's off right now, I'll turn it on by pressing fire. And this TV takes a few seconds to turn on, so we'll just wait. There it goes. Okay, so let's say we want to turn the volume up. We go right. And to turn the volume down, you simply push left. Mute is on the back here. It's actually the reset button. Okay, I'll unmute it by pushing it again. Channel up and channel down is just up and down and then of course audio uh, video select is just the select button on the back so there's nothing, nothing else on so this is boring but if there was something else on you would be able to uh, see the other options there and we're all done so I'll press fire to turn it back off and that's about it this is the Atari 2600 remote control and you can see more details of this at hackedgadgets.com.